Public Service and Youth Affairs Principal Secretary Lillian Omolo, National Youth Service Director General Richard Nubai, and Planning Principal Secretary Julius Muya on Friday appeared before the National Assembly Public Accounts Committee to explain the alleged 9 billion shillings procurement scandal at the National Youth Service. Madam PS, as you address this matter, be specific, because I can see you are treating us with a lot of generalities. We ask a direct question, you go to Gilgil. The DCI is investigating the alleged loss of the money to ascertain whether there was an offence of conspiracy among the suppliers, officials at NYS and the Ministry to pilfer public resources. In what was clearly a tense meeting, Omolo, who alongside Dubai, stepped aside exactly a week ago to pave way for investigations, bravely fielded questions exonerating herself from blame. As to whether 9 billion shillings has been lost, Madam Vice Chairperson, it is not possible. To support her claims, Omolo tabled before Park a report from the Auditor General released this month. The Auditor General further states in addition as required by Article 229 of the Constitution, based on the audit procedures performed, I confirm that nothing has come to my attention to cause me to believe that public money has, been, has not been applied lawfully and in an effective manner. Maintaining that she had a positive impact since assuming office, the embattled principal secretary instead passed the back to the previous NYS administration led by former devolution cabinet secretary Anway Guru. Now, I would go to the supplier, Giwako, who is the one of 60 million, for example. Do we know the supplier? No. But was she paid money from the system? Yes. I, I have been able to certify that money was paid to her. Omolo claims during her tenure, the NYS has been on an upward trajectory and cartels have been denied access to billions of shillings previously siphoned through dubious contracts and are now fighting back. I would uh, like the committee to note is that uh, when you take business from her, mm -hmm. because you have given to someone where you are saving a lot of money, you want to ask yourself, where was that saving going? And is the person who has uh, now missed that saving? Are they excited about it? Immediate former devolution cabinet secretary Cecily Karioki, now in charge of the health docket, and our public service counterpart Professor Margaret Kobia have also been summoned to appear before the Opio Wandai led committee. When the National Youth Service was established in 1973, the aim was to equip the youth with life coping skills to foster their personal and career development. However, in the recent years, the service has been dogged by a ghost of corruption that now threatens to undermine that particular objective. For Channel One News, I am Edward Kabasa.